In this video, we'll be traveling from the KZN Midlands to an exotic island in East Africa. This will be our first episode, which is our travel day. It's 8 a.m. on Easter Friday, and in exactly 24 hours, we'll be taking off from Aratumbo International Airport in Joburg to the island of Zanzibar in Tanzania. If you're new to our channel, we are Craig and Chantal and we usually do local content around KZN, but we finally get to use these things again and travel overseas first time in about two and a half years. To save costs, we decided to drive through to Aratumbo and we're also going to stay at the city lodge at the airport tonight. We're not going to show you too much of our actual road trip because we did that in a previous video. So we'll see you next at the airport. Five hours and five minutes since we left our home in Hilton and we are approaching the airport. We booked our cars with a valet service with express airport parking. They're going to pick our car up from the airport and then bring it back to us when we land. And it came to about 500 bucks for the eight days. And they also sent us a step-by-step -step guide of how to get to the parking where we're supposed to meet them. Hello. Okay, yes. yes, yeah, yeah. Perfect, cool. The driver met us before we even went through the boom gate. He recognized our car. That's very impressive. I'm very impressed, yeah. Obviously, it's convenient to leave the car at the airport, but this is just a lot cheaper. We think, yeah. <laughs> at least, because we couldn't find prices online for the airports. Okay, we're going to sort this out and then, yeah. So that was so easy, very straightforward. And when we return, we just pick up our car in exactly the same spot. Well done for finding this out. <laughs> now we are walking towards the city lodge, which can be accessed via the airport parking. And we're going to stay there for the night. We're going to go up to the hotel now. It's on the top of Park A3. I've just checked in. It took a little while. The line was quite long. But we're staying in room 2192. We've got free unlimited Wi Fi. Ooh. Through the door to your left. Nice bed, nice TV. If you ever wondered what the city lodge at the airport looks like, now you know. We're going to take you on a little tour later. And if you have an early flight the next morning, this would be the perfect place to stay. That's why we stay here, because our flight is at 8 a.m. International, so we have to be there like... 5 a.m. Oh. I am filling an online health form for Zanzibar. You have to do it 25 hours before you arrive. So they ask a whole bunch of questions, you put your details in. They've changed the requirements. We don't actually need a PCR test to get in anymore or we'll even come back, which is good. So we've got our proof of vaccination, everything. So it should all go smoothly. We are out exploring the hotel. There's a nice pool area, a nice massive like meeting area, which is really cool. High rooms, lots of conference rooms. Really nice. Behind me is our room that overlooks the pool. This is something that Craig has wanted to do since forever. Sit here at an airport hotel, have a drink. Good old South African beer. Look at the airport. And play on my Flight Radar 24 app. The Boeing 777 from Qatar just flew in, so we've got some heavies coming in, which is quite exciting. We have come to the airport craft brewers where we're having another drink, and I can watch the airplane. If you want to see a full tour of Orosambo, then go check out our video we made about it a few months ago. That video excludes the international section, so we're so excited to show that to you tomorrow morning. We haven't been there for two and a half years. I went for orange and black paper GNT. I went for the English up here. 
turns out there was actually tequila instead of gin in that drink. So luckily we sent it back and I got a new one instead. We decided to leave the brewery and come to Ocean Basket for dinner. It's already 6 o'clock. And I feel like fish, so perfect place for fish in South Africa. I'm excited for my fish and calamari. I have a small platter with fish, calamari and prawn. We finished our dinner and we stuffed. It was so good. If yeah. you like seafood, definitely go to Ocean Basket. They even have sushi. Yeah, it was really nice, but we stuffed. We're gonna go back to the hotel now. But yeah. walking through the airport at night is so cool. The vibe here is it's just something else compared yeah. to December. The international flights are like almost back. There's flights to Look. Paris, London, Dubai. <laughs> it's just so exciting. It's so cool seeing the international arrival full of people waiting with Aratambo welcoming you to South Africa. We are back in our hotel room and there's such a vibe down in reception. So many people are checking in yeah. and we're hearing different accents. So many foreigners here in South Africa, which is good for our tourism. But we're going to have our early night and get up at 4 a.m. Good night. It's 10 to 5 a.m. We're going to check out of City Lodge now, then walk to the international terminal to find our check-in counter. Let's go. It's still pitch black dark outside. We finally made it to the terminal. So now we're going across the international section. That's where you come down from the car train. That's where you came down last time. But then next it is international. Africa stay. There we go. Initially there's a guy that just checks your documents and then he allows you in and then we found the Africa stay kiosk. We booked through flight center who went to Africa stay and they actually have a representative. Our names are on a list and everything and it was so nice that she reconfirmed that we don't need PCR tests. We were a little bit worried about that. We only needed our proof of vaccination so we Sandy are Bar, now here we come. In the queue, got a lot of documents, so we saw. Craig's organized. <laughs> It's 5.35, we got here at 5, we are through dropping our bags off security and immigration in 35 minutes. Yeah, now we are <laughs> going to wait for the flight, it's at 7.20, it's check-in, flight is at 8, so we got 1 hour, 50, one hour 40 minutes to go. Yeah. So. I'm so impressed, <laughs> wow, so guys, get here early, yeah. that's all I can say. Next stop, Zanzibar. No, next stop, we're going to see if the lounge is open. If not, we'll get copies of ours. Yeah, let's do it. We really love the Bitface Lounge. Again, we got in on Craig's credit card. Their breakfast bread is so nice. And I even got a green juice shot for some uh, energy for the rest of the trip. And it's also super comfortable and these plug points everywhere and the seats also like so soft and we really love this lounge. We're done at the lounge, it was so nice as always. If you're looking for an international lounge, we would truly recommend the Bitfest. We've been to others before. Yeah. I think this is my favorite one. We're boarding in about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's seven o'clock now. And it's slide outside finally. <laughs> We're about to board. We're actually in the middle of the line for once. We just jumped in there because <laughs> he's so excited. <laughs> we scanned in and we're going to get on the plane now. Have you ever seen such excited people to get on a plane? <laughs> I'm excited for you. <laughs> so we're flying on Global Airlines, but we're flying on Lyft. So I think they just use the airplanes for this. Must be. We're on the plane, I still don't feel like it's real. 
but it is super super full i can't even see one open seat so far lucky it's only a, about a three and a half hour flight so we get there there's no video screens they're not going to serve any food or drinks We are in Zanzibar. It is warm, but it's wet. <laughs> so humid. Yeah. So there was this form that I found on a website that you had to fill in. I did it online, and luckily we get you. Everyone has to fill in manually. My amazing husband is so organized. He always has everything ready. We made it out to the airport. We are officially in Zanzibar. We're all so excited. Now we're just looking for a taxi so we can go to the resort. Booking with a tour company really has its benefits. We got outside and we went to the Africa Stay stand. Our names were on a list and they're sending us to a bus and we'll get going. This airport is also really lovely. We got a SIM card there for 300 Rand for 6 gigs for the week. We put our bags in a van and we've won bus number 8 going to Zanzibar Bay. It's so cool that they gave us cold water because it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> at Zanzibar Bay Resort. After a very interesting bus ride, which took about an hour, we got to our resorts. It looks like everyone that arrived on our airplane is actually coming to these resorts where we are. There's two right next door to each other, the same owners, so we get to use the facilities both places. But that just meant check-in was a bit chaotic. But when we finally got our room key, it was smooth sailing from there. The porter brought our bags up and we got to see our room for the first time. And then the first thing we did was go find the ocean because, oh my word, it is beautiful. And that was without you and that was yesterday. <laughs> we were so tired that we just threw the camera down and we went straight to the beach. And we'll end this video with giving you a few tips that we've learned along the way. The first thing is to take it easy. From South Africa, you can only fly to Zanzibar on Saturdays and Tuesdays. Africa Stay has incredible specials. So the flights are full and basically most people on the flight ended up going to our resort. It doesn't matter if you're first in the line or last in the line, everyone eventually gets on the same bus to the same, same destination. So just relax, enjoy it and take it easy. Then also, the airline doesn't serve food during flights at the moment so we had food at the lounge early in the morning and basically when we got to the resort lunch was over so we only ate again at dinner time so make sure to pack snacks if you want something to eat on the flight or something to drink you're not allowed consuming your own alcohol on the plane, but you can drink water and cool drinks. They do also give you a bottle of water. When you get to the resort, you can buy food off the a la carte menu, but converting from South African Rand to dollar at first is a little bit intimidating. So we're like, we're not gonna pay $17 for a hamburger. No. We'll rather just wait for dinner, but we had some snacks at least. We also didn't know about money exchange we didn't know where to get currency apparently at the zanzibar airport you can exchange we missed that completely and we only got to draw money during our stone town tour 
at an absolute bank that was pretty cool so just take your time at the airports look for the money exchange place and convert to shillings or dollars because the island takes both of those another thing you can do is you can buy a sim card at the airport which they activate for you put data on we did that and we've had connection everywhere which is amazing if we didn't get that sim card at the airport i don't know where else we would have gotten it mm. because our resort is pretty isolated on the east coast these local communities on the one side and these resorts on the other side there doesn't seem to be any good shops or atms or yeah. places you can get these sim cards so we really suggest doing those things at the airport and then lastly dress lights at joburg it's probably going to be really cold early in the morning but when you arrive in zanzibar and you walk out it's just humidity when we landed it had just rained so it was even more and that is what we learned from our travel day it's very different to other trips because it feels like we one big tour group that's why we thought we'd give you a few tips and definitely go and look at Africa Stay's website or Facebook page they have incredible deals at the moment let us know in the comments what your travel day tips are We weren't going to film our travel day back to South Africa, but we feel we need to show you the lounge at the Zanzibar airport. It is really nice compared to what we've seen in other videos and the old airports. We actually get free access with Craig's APSA banking rewards program. That's something we didn't know. If you want to pay to come into the lounge, it's $20. In the terminal itself, there's a little shop with a few snacks. You can only pay in dollars or shillings. There's no card machines. These are the little Wait. shops in the airport. <laughs> delayed for like two hours so we're so happy that we actually decided to come down here to this lounge and they have fresh snacks they brought out fresh samosas there were a little like um, chicken chicken roll as well as cookies and nuts and chips nothing like yeah. the lounges we've been to before the view from here yeah my favorite view in the world <laughs> So it's time to go and board our flights. Nice. One of the best things about Zanzibar is we didn't have to get any more. But now to get on the plane, back to Mars Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video we will have two more videos from zanzibar we will show you a tour of the resort and we'll also show you the three trips that we did so make sure to check back next week to see our next episode in our zanzibar series thanks for watching good night oh. <laughs> Direct your attention to them as they guide you through the aircraft. A320 set to demonstration.